What's up everybody? This is Josh from Brew Chatter coming at you. I like the little light right here on my face. It's sort of cool looking. But anyway, I caught RJ over here. He's gonna set up for a new episode on What's water up? profiling. He's getting everything set up. Yes. Look at all that. He's getting all the salt, all the chemicals, everything, chlorides, everything. Yep. All of the things. You ready to get this video started? Yeah, let's do it. There you go. Got lots of good stuff to talk about today. It's good stuff. Yeah. We'll hit pH pH meter and then some of the salts and chemicals. Yep. Then and you're gonna do, we do it. and have a beer while we do it. Yes. It should be. Talk about starting your water profile from scratch, from distilled water, and modifying a water profile that's coming out of your faucet. Yep. Ready? Let's do it. Let's do it. Roll the intro. Go. Water, water, water. Why on earth would you adjust your brewing water? Because you have nothing else left to do. <laughs> you already got your malt figured out, you got your hops figured out, you got your additions figured out, you got your yeast figured out. You just want to take your beer one shelf up with fully customizing that wort. Yeah. It's great being able to customize every single aspect of that beer down to the water. Yeah, it'll, it, it really can make a big difference. And we're talking, according to Kaminsky and Palmer, it can account for up to 20% of your flavor profile. So if you really want to nail something and get really subtle, it's, it's a good thing to do. It is a great thing to do. And uh, be sure you're sitting down when you read that book. It is <laughs> a good sure. book, but words some of the words in there are like this long and I yeah. don't even know how to start to sound that out. <laughs> yeah, you gotta, you gotta brush up on your kin before you read the water book. I'm just like, oh, I'm just saying, blah, 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 blah. I don't know, let's skip that. <laughs> Wikipedia. Yeah, Wikipedia. You gotta have Google open when you read it. Yeah, either that or I ask RJ. It's like, I don't know, RJ's pretty good with words. So then I open Google. <laughs> Before we get too crazy into this, uh, should we show them how we do our water additions? Yes, we did a little bit of a fun video of RJ. I caught him when he was measuring up some stuff and just doing that and getting it going. Just a little short little video of some B-roll. And let's roll the B-roll and while the B-roll is rolling, we're going to answer that phone. <laughs> exactly. Ready? Do it. Ready? Do it. So when you're talking water, one of the first things you want to look at is pH, which keep in mind it's temperature dependent. So if you have the like the nice Milwaukee pH meter that we use, Where's you want to make sure it's in the back. It's in a beer right now. Oh, well you keep talking, I want to grab the pH meter. All right. So make sure you have that temp probe in there because pH is very temperature dependent. But so one thing that all adding all of these salts and building your water profile, whether or not you build it from your, your local water profile or you build it from distilled water. Um, Whoops. <laughs> well, he I might've broken that up in the mic. But <laughs> whether, no matter where you're starting from, the pH really makes a big difference and pH helps you maximize your enzyme. That's why you always read in here when you're mashing, you wanna be from 5.2 to 5.6, sometimes at 5.8. You. That's right, there's nothing in there. True. Just storage solution. So, but that, that's, these water salts all help you depending on your given profile and depending on what you're mashing, these all help you hit that target pH where the enzyme works the best. And that's uh, other than, so, you know, helping accentuate hops and bitterness and, and softening and everything else that, that building your water profile does, that that's a big part of it is having that increased efficiency. So we've noticed that quite a bit 
in just all of the experiments and all the messing around that we do with, you know, all different water profiles, brewing different beers is, you know, you get the right water profile, pH is perfect at 5.2, 5.4, and efficiency is off the charts. Yeah, so. and you said pH was temperature independent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I wasn't out here for that part, I was getting the pH <laughs> in here. Did, so, did you tell them about what, which ones we have up here? No, that was next. Gypsum, we got that, some table salt, some Epsom salt I think is what's in here. Mm -hmm. We got calcium chloride, which is fun. And then you got a little bit of baking soda, you know, if you need to raise a loaf of bread or put some in your <laughs> beer work. <laughs> and then you got calcium carbonate. A calcium carbonate, also known as chalk, and some places will either do one or the other, and they may not say both. Yes. FYI. Yeah. Just so you know. You know, and then Epsom salt, you can also soak your muscles in it too when you're <laughs> when you're done. Just put it in your bath and get your mash going and <sighs> Yeah, a lot of these are new purpose. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Why are you so expressive with your hands when I'm trying to drink? I'm talking and you put your beer in my hand. <laughs> well, it has your finger in it now, so see if it Ah, it didn't get wet. You're good. Good. <laughs> Onward and upward. So Another thing that we really wanted to talk about is you don't have to do this all from scratch. Um, Palmer has a killer, killer free downloadable spreadsheet. It's, it's already got all of the recommended water profiles for all the different beer styles. And I mean, this guy's awesome. He just gives it out for free. So you can just type in Palmer water spreadsheet and download it off of like a dozen different sites. It's it's a very cool tool and it works really, really well. Um, if you don't want to do it that manually, um, you can always use your favorite online calculator. Um, Beersmith has a, a great tool. Um, you know, all the other online ones, most, most everybody has an online calculator. So that helps a lot too. But the biggest thing, if you're not building your water from scratch, you need to remember to know where you're starting before you start making adjustments. Because if you don't, then like you, you see a lot of recipes online that you download that says, oh, two teaspoons of gypsum, cool. But where are you starting and what are those two teaspoons of gypsum actually going to do if you already have huge amounts of, you know, or if your, your calcium or your <laughs> chloride to sulfate ratio is, is already super high or vice versa, you know what I mean? So that's the biggest thing when you're doing these adjustments. You have to know where you are if you're not starting from distilled. Otherwise, it's almost pointless you're just making a random water profile yeah you don't know your base it's like you gotta figure out what like Tomoha Trigaminos Water Association that's the one here in Reno Sparks that uh, you can call into and get your water profile and they will give it to you free and tell you exactly what's in there they'll tell you what well you're pulling from so perhaps in your city you may have a water authority out there that I'm pretty sure you do in most places and then you just contact them and you ask them about your water profile and then they'll tell you where they'll ask where you live your address figure out what well you're pulling off of and then they'll send you a water report and tell you very close or exactly to what kind of water you have coming out of your faucet and then once you have those numbers you know where you start then you can plug them into that sheet you know for all these additives that you want to do and then you may not need that much gypsum to get up to that bitterness or hardness it's like you can do all these different things once you know where you're starting but if you're just throwing salts in there because you heard song if you throw a little gypsum in there it pushes hops forward you know so you throw a little in there that helps it's like it may or may not work you know but it's more like closing your eyes and playing pin the tail and donkey you know sometimes you may hit it and sometimes you're hitting your friend in the ass instead <laughs> you know <laughs> but it just depends you know but it's better to know where you're at than it is to guess or start with distilled water and just build it all from scratch yeah absolutely and if if you want to have your water profile but you don't really want to like go through all the chemistry and build it with a spreadsheet or whatever grab distilled water grab a pack of acumash it makes it super easy yeah acumash is cool it's like you it's by srm if you want uh i think it's hoppy balanced malty mm -hmm. and you know choose your profile and then your og and so basically you go off uh, those three variables and pick whatever packet is closest to what you're trying to brew. And basically you throw it in your mash water with like a half pound of grain, stir it in, and then boom, you're done. Sparge, mash, boil, all is normal. Yeah. And starting with distilled water, and then you're good to go. Water profile, done. 
Yep, efficiency up, profile done, it's it's money. So yeah. if, if you wanna do it, but you don't wanna mess with it and learn all the chemistry, that's a really great way to go about it. Yeah, and if you wanna do it on your own, what you'll need is you'll need, you know, a good array of um, salts and chemicals. And then you're gonna need like a little scale, like a little gram scale or like a gunpowder scale or anything like that that's very sensitive. Just trying not to say cocaine scale. <laughs> I wanted to, but I don't want to go like all oh, out. Sorry, you know, in here. And we got all this white powder. Can we say his name and not get charged royalties? Anyway, I don't know. But anyway, you get a little bit of that, and you like we just store them in little masons. Works out pretty well. We have the label on there and stuff, and uh, it stores pretty well because some shops sell them in little bags, you know, and they're sealed, and you can't resell them. We sell them in Ziploc bags, but we just like them in the glass, you know, because then you can see how much you got and stuff like that. So, and you're gonna need a pH meter. Be a good idea to have pH meter. Some buffer compound or solutions, <laughs> buffer <laughs> solutions. And then uh, they're like four and seven. You need those, some storage solutions, some cleaning solutions, and then uh, a little scale, maybe a little scoop. Yeah. And that spreadsheet yep. that uh, RJ was talking about helps out a lot yep. because it tells you exactly where you need pHs and all your salts and whatever water profile you're trying to go for. So it's really, really well done. So. Yeah, very Thank well. Thank you, John Palmer. Thank you, John Palmer. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, so one more thing. If you want to get a little bit more into the nitty gritty, we recently added a, an article on brew cranium. So it, it goes a lot more into nitty gritty and uh, you know, kind of covers more in detail everything that we've covered today. So um, when these articles tend to be a little bit wordy, so it, it's helpful when you're trying to get down to the science. So. Yeah, Brucranium has a lot of good information in there. The vi this video is uh, following that uh, posted article that is up on Brucranium. We'll put the link below in the description. And uh, check it out, comment on it, and uh, try some water profiling. Check out the Acumash, check out uh, these uh, different salts that we have available that you can buy. Look into some pH meters and a really nice scale. Yep. I mean, you don't need like this all out expensive scale, but you know, a decent, really nice scale that's sensitive enough. I mean, for these smaller additions that'll catch it. Yeah, usually it's by the gram, so yeah, just a little gram. A nice little gram scale may be good. Then you'll be ready to go and then you'll start brewing. And then all you gotta do after that is just brew on. Just brew on. Brew on. P.S. Like, subscribe. Like, subscribe. I didn't mean to put a finger in your beer. I was talking like this and you like literally went. I was just trying to get a drink. I didn't know you were gonna be so. <laughs> Usually I'm the one that talks with my hands. Yeah. No, it's good. Cool. Hopefully we get some comments and likes, some yeah. subscribes. Yep, I like that. Fun. All right, let's do this.